Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how can we create a PHP file to check the mobile and password of the user so we can implement it as login in our mobile application. So at first, let's go to the source file, right click, new PHP file, and let's call this file as login. So for login, we can copy this code from the previous example because it is same code and we are going to say something like select a star from users where mobile equal question mark and password equal another question mark so here we should pass two parameters so we need double s and the second parameter, which will be dollar sign get the password. So in this case, if the user is not exist, we are going to echo zero. Otherwise, the else we are going to echo one. So let's try this simple PHP file. Right click, run file. So in the login, mobile equal 0788030600 and password equal 123456. Yes, one because this user already exists. What about if this user is not exist? Any random password? Yes, zero. So in this case, the login is working perfectly. Okay, so I have created Two PHP files, one called add user to add a user to the table, and another one called login to check if the user exists or not. Now let's run our Android Studio to create our project. Now select start new project. Okay, for example, suppose we are going to call it sales app. Okay, click next. Next, start with empty activity, no problem. And click on finish. So the project has been created. So before start working on this project, Let's start with some settings for this project. The first thing, this project need a permission to go to internet. So we should add the permission for internet. Second thing, this project need two libraries, which is the volley library and the recycler view library. So at first, I'm going to add the permission to the manifest to use internet. So uses permission, of course, for internet. The second thing, we are going to add two libraries, which are volley for retrieving data from the web services, from the PHP file, and of course, Picasso to retrieve the images from the server. So to add the libraries, as we have done in the previous videos, go to Google, let's say Android, for example, Picasso. Okay, Picasso, square open. Let's go down in this page. Yeah, here in the Gradle, we can take this line, copy, go here in Android to the belt Gradle. And let's add this library here and click on sync now. This is for the first library. While this library is added to the Gradle, let's go to net again and let's say something like Android Volley Library. Go to developer.android.com 
and if we go down here also the line to add the poly library to your app so again also in the gradle add this line and click sync now so this project has been prepared and it is ready to start working for our sales app see you next video